Hey everyone, how you doing? I am Mark, and this is episode 18 of Minecraft Stoneblock. I am down in our crafting room, or auto crafting room I should say. Um, just real quickly to show you that I have done some upgrades. We had done a bit of upgrading last time on these machines. I have gone ahead and, and added uh, auxiliary reception coils to all these machines and upgraded them all to the third tier Signalum upgrades. So everything down here is a little faster than it was. I've also gone ahead and made a second pulverizer and split the recipes between the two because I noticed we were spending an awful lot of time waiting for various dust to get crushed um, when we were auto crafting big jobs and that was creating a bottleneck. Um, so that's what I did here. I also went ahead and made some item conduits that cover these cables. We're pretty much done with the setup here. And as you can see, if you have a Yetta wrench in hand, you can uh, sort of see through the conduit cables to actually work with the conduits when you need to. So it's starting to look like an almost finished room. This side still needs some uh, work to do, and I'm not sure what I'm going to put up here yet. Uh, nothing's really come to mind yet. So that's coming together. I also upgraded a couple things over here. I've, I've basically put acceleration cards in all of these uh, inscribers and in the growth chamber. It's full up. So everything over here runs a lot faster now. And in our import bus, I also put acceleration cards here, which means that once products come out of here, they uh, get returned to our AE2 system much faster. In our auto crafting uh, molecular assembler chamber, I've gone through all these uh, assemblers and added auto uh, acceleration cards to all of them. So they are running at peak capacity now. And so in general, auto crafting is faster than it was. So that's kind of what I've done between episodes. I did the same thing up here with some of these machines. I went ahead and upgraded these. Uh, I put octadytic capacitors in all our Ender I.O. machines here. And I haven't upgraded these yet because we haven't really been using them too much. I will probably do that at some point. Um, so that leads me to what we plan on doing today, which is uh, a couple episodes ago we made this Supremium Armor. And uh, that's fine. But they all, each piece of this armor has a charm slot. And the charms let you add various boosts to your armor. And as you can see, I've been playing around with uh, making the charms. Uh, this is the fire resistance charm, which is one of the ones I plan on making. In fact, I'm just going to make it right now. Um, so we're going to make four of these today and stick them in our armor. And I think the four we're going to make are fire resistance, which I just did. Um, I think I'm going to make this resistance mod. We're definitely going to make the absorption mod because that uh, basically absorbs, uh, gives, a, gives us an absorption shield. Uh, so to make this, we're going to need a bunch of apples, which we only have two. So I need to make a couple more of those. They're really easy to make. Just some gold, so let's go ahead and make this charm. I also want to make the wither resistance charm, which we should be able to make no problem. We can. And for the fourth charm, I think I do want this resistance charm. I have never actually used this. Uh, Superium Apple. I'm pretty sure we have none of this, so... Whoa. Oh, we have to make a whole series of uh, apples. I see. So let's go ahead and make, we need to make four of these. So we can make four of the, four of the Inferium. Is that the right charm? Yes. Oops. We want this. Um... Did I not just make the apples? 
We have no prudentium, so let's make, uh, we need 16 of this. Oops. Oh, wrong apples. Let's make the actual apples we need. And then it's intermedium, which I can't spell. So again, we need 16 of this, and I'm just going to make 20. And you saw how fast that crafted, I'm sure. And then uh, apples, and I'll be smart this time. And actually just stick these in my inventory. So we need four of those, and then we need superium. Oh, we have enough superium to do this. I think this is right. Yep. I think that's what we needed, actually, wasn't it? So we go back to charm. We look at the resistance charm, and it was superium apples which we don't have enough superium to make. So I'm going to go ahead and make 20 of this. And you can see the crafting process is going a lot faster now than it was, and that's because we put all those acceleration cards in our crafters. In fact, I may even throw in a couple more uh, infusion crystals just to speed things up a little more. So we pull out our superium. And that gives us our last charm. So the other thing we need to make to do this is actually going to be a bunch more superium, or a bunch of supremium maybe. I'm going to go ahead and make, I think, 20 supremium. Which again, is going to take a little while, but, but not too long because this actually cranks pretty fast now. Um, oops. I didn't want to cancel that job. That was dumb. We have six. Let's go ahead and craft. I'll craft 20 more. And this time I will not cancel the job. Um, we need to make the tinkering, the tinkering bench or tinkering table from Mr. Agriculture to actually apply these uh, charms. And this is pretty easy to make. I don't know how much of this we have. We have the crafting table. <laughs> so um, we need to make this soul stone, which is just soul sand plus stone. So we can stick that in there. We need some supremium ingots. And we only need four of these. So we can just craft these. And it looks like our recipe is still running, so we can't quite craft these yet. How? No crafting jobs active. Okay. Let's try this again. Must have just been bad timing. There we go. So again, this is another one of these, you know, make start at the beginning and work your way up the tree. So we're going to go ahead and start that. It shouldn't take too long to make. Yeah, we're almost done already. So now we can make the tinkering, the Supremium tinkering table. I think we have everything we need. We do, so we can make this. And hmm, I believe I will just stick it right here. And if we look in here, we can look at the recipes. And you can see that every upgrade takes four Supremium three shards, and the uh, appropriate charm. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, that looks like it's the same for every single thing. So we need a bunch of, we have four things to do, so we need 16 supremium, which we have. We need the shards, or the uh, charms, and we need prosperity shards. And I'm just going to grab a stack of those. So I'm going to also take off my armor. 
And all of these can fit in any armor slot, so it doesn't really matter what order we do these in. So I'm just going to fill fill in all the gaps. Uh, sure, I'll put fire resistance. And you can see that adds fire resistance to this helmet. And I'm just going to do this for all of our charms. Which will give us awesome superpowers, of course. And that's it. We're done. Pretty simple process, but it does require a little craft. So now you can see we have absorption, resistance, and fire resistance always running. And you can see down here on our health bar that we've got uh, those extra health hearts. And I noticed that some of our armor is getting a little worn. So just to show you that we don't really care about that, we can stick that in here and instantly repair it to full. And that is one of the reasons I upgraded this machine was just to make sure we could repair things quickly when we needed to. So, you know, they still have over 4K. Well, the boots are a little old, little less, so I think they just have less base durability. Yep. Um, so we have a good set of armor that we can use and we have uh, all our charms installed. So we are in pretty good shape as far as, you know, if we have to get in a fight. Not that we get in many fights here, but eventually we may have to go face a dragon. So that kind of uh, is a good start to the episode. Give me a minute to figure out what I want to do next, and I will be right back. Okay, we are back. And I have a bit of a plan as to what I want to at least get started on today. Um, I am going to make a Wither Spawner because we have some Nether Stars. Uh, we have 21 Nether Stars that are coming from our uh, loot bag opener and the patient loot bags that we open. Uh, but that's not much. And we're going to run out of those pretty quickly if we start doing anything serious. Like I was looking at making the uh, uh, crafting table. I was looking at making the uh, Avarita crafting table, the extreme crafting table. And it takes eight of these crystal matrix ingots, which each take two nether stars. And that's almost our entire supply gone right away. So nether stars we can get by killing the wither. So let's kill the wither. And to do that, I am going to use the Wither Spawner from, or uh, the Wither Builder from Industrial Foregun. And um, that is pretty easy to make. I had to make some plastic by stealing rubber essence from our um, uh, Mystical Agriculture Farm and just making some plastic really quick. That was pretty easy, you know, I just had to make a few pieces and that gave me like 25 plastic. So plenty to make this, the Wither Builder, um, which just needs some soul sand, a couple of Wither Skeleton Skulls, which we should have, uh, a steel casing, which we should be able to make, because we've made this for mechanism, and another star. So let's just see if we can make this. We can make everything there except... Is that just regular glass? Yeah, it's glass. So we seem to run out of glass a lot. Uh, I'm just going to craft a couple hundred glass because we have plenty of sand to make it. Uh, it's plenty of sand to use, so that's not a big deal. So I'll go ahead and throw this in here, make the steel casing, and then we can make the wither builder. I think. Yes, so there's our Wither Builder. The other thing I want is the Mob Grinder from Draconic Evolution, which we've gotten some Draconic Cores as rewards, so we should be able to make this. I think we probably need to make a couple Diamond Swords. So let me make two of those, and then we should just be able to make the Mob Grinder. Oops, what are we missing there? Oh, we're missing a Furnace. I think we can handle the furnace. So that gives us our mob grinder. And we're going to need to make a witherproof room. 
So I think the easiest way to do that is reinforced obsidian. That or I think it's this one that is the better one to make. So this just takes some um, obsidian along with iron bars, which is pretty easy to make. Uh, I'm not sure what this takes, actually. Uh, that's just a back and forth recipe. So this is what we want. Let's see how many we can make. Not many at all. Uh, iron bars we can make tons of. So let's just grab some ingots, throw in the recipes, and I'm just going to make a few stacks of those, and then we can make our reinforced obsidian. Uh, and we'll see just how many we can make. We don't have an infinite supply of obsidian. Oops. And we got a quest reward for making the mob grinder. So let's go ahead and you can see I was looking at quests, which is why I got to the extreme crafting table. Uh, Draconic Evolution. We did make this. I did make the information tablet a couple days ago. So I'm going to claim that. All right, I already claimed that. I'm going to claim this. Um, I don't know how much more of this we're going to do. We probably will eventually start doing some fusion crafting and such. Um, let's check what our loot chest dropped us. Speed upgrades. Yay. All right. I have also made a small room out here that we can use to uh, spawn our wither in. Uh, and I put it far away from the base so we don't have to deal with the noise all the time. And it's also over here with the rest of our sort of mob farming, our mob grinding uh, stuff. So... If we look at the Wither Builder, it has a base area 3 by 2 width times height. So we need a 3 wide by 2 high, which we're going to have plenty of room in here. So what I want to do is put this down like here. I think I want to put this down like there. That's going to spawn the Wither. And I believe this block is witherproof. So I'm going to go ahead and put down reinforced obsidian all the way around here. I think we can break this. Yeah, we can break that. It just takes a while. Um, and to make sure that we fill all the gaps... We do want this to overlap in the corner so we don't have gaps that the Wither Blast can get through. Because that'll just destroy surrounding terrain, which, you know, is not a big deal over here because there's not much going on over here, but pays to be thorough. So that takes care of the back wall and the, the floor. Wow, we're going to need to make a lot more obsidian. I can tell already. I'm just going to throw a torch down here for now, just so we don't get mob spawning in here unnecessarily. Um, so I think the next step is the mob grinder. And I don't remember which way this points. I think the skull and the swords are the death side. So that's good there. And I think that block is also uh, witherproof. And clearly I don't want to stand in front of that. Um, so there are a couple other things we need to do. I am out of obsidian, so I'm going to have to go make some more. Um, so I need to close this off and I need some form of uh, item pickup. And I think we're going to use the same item pickup that we used out here. 
which is these uh, absorption hoppers, because I'm pretty sure the absorption hoppers work uh, through walls. So we can completely enclose this space and not worry about it. Uh, so I'm going to go make some more stuff and I will be back in a minute. Okay, I think we have our sort of basic room put together here. Um, spawning the wither does require one air block on all sides of the wither. So we have an empty space in front and behind of the uh, wither builder. And this is also four high, so the wither, you know, the wither is three high. It's it's four blocks of sand, soul sand plus a skull, uh, or three skulls across the top. So you know, there's air blocks all around. So I think this is sufficient to spawn our wither, but we do have to do a little more setup. I am going to I'm going to do this manually for the most part. So there are a couple things we need to do. We need first we need a collector for our loot, which I think I'm just going to put. I don't know how far I can adjust the uh, collection range on this absorption hopper. So let me see about that. Uh, I'm going to show area. Oops. Pardon me while I play around with this. I think that's probably going to collect the whole room. Yep, it looks like that is collecting everything in here. So that works fine. I can just throw down this chest and have you two down. Go ahead and put items down. So that's just going to collect everything into this chest and assuming that I'm correct and it can pull through walls, that should be fine. Um, the other thing I want to do is pick up or uh, have a place to put the uh, items I need for the builder. And of course, we also need to feed power to all this stuff. So if I dig under here, there is our wither builder. And all we need to feed this is the soul sand and the wither skulls that it needs. I'll have to look at our soul sand uh, creation. It's always active, which is fine for now. And although I probably want to put that on a redstone signal so I can turn it off and on. Uh, let me grab some parts. And what I want is some uh, enhanced energy conduits. And I didn't really give myself much room to work here. I also actually want some item conduits because we need to pump items and energy into that. And we're just going to do, we're going to make you insert, insert always because that's all we do to that is we just put items into it. And I run these pipes out. Did I miss that? I guess I did. Uh, what did I do there? That doesn't look right. Oh, I dropped it down. Let's not drop it down a level. <clears throat> Uh, so we could just run energy up to this. So this is going to get energy from the same source. And we just take our item pipe. I don't think the mob grinder actually produces any items. I don't think we need to do anything with that. So all we're doing is we're inserting power in there. That's all we care about. And this is going to be extract always active. So this is the chest that we put our components in for our wither spawner and it will spawn our wither for us. And I am going to put a, I have a flux node here, which or flux point, which I'm going to put on top of this. That's just going to power the whole thing, but I'm not quite ready to do that yet. I just want to think about, I want to run redstone down there. 
So let me see if I have enough redstone conduit to do that. I probably do. And now I've made this really complicated because I haven't given myself any room to work. So for redstone, we are going to output a strong red signal. We're not going to input anything. And this we're going to do active on redstone signal. So we can turn it off when we want to. I think I've done that correctly. I sometimes get that backwards. Um, oops. You do not need redstone at all. So if I run this over to here, uh, where is my wrench? There we go. I always forget how to do that. And we're going to input the input a signal from that block. And then if we put a lever on top of that, oops, that's not what I want. Maybe I have a lever handy. I do not. All right. I'm going to have to get a lever to hook up to that. Um, I think all I have to do here is hook up power and we'll be good to go. Because we can throw our items in here. They'll automatically get put down into the uh, industrial foregoing wither builder. It will build the wither and then the mob grinder, which has plenty of power, uh, which doesn't have power yet. Uh, once it has power, we'll be able to kill it. No problem. Uh, so I believe that's all we need to do. So I'm going to go grab some of the stuff we need. We need a lever to turn that off and on, and we need a uh, some skulls and some soul sand. Okay, so I should be able to put that. Oh, that's interesting. I think if I put that there, that should be fine. This is a tangled web as usual. Did not really plan this very well. All right, I'm just going to run that cable up there so I can drop this flux point on top. We add this to our network. And it immediately fills with power. Oh, and now I've done it. I've made it so I can't get over there again. <laughs> oh, well. This is what happens when you plan poorly. So this is full of power and it's not building because we haven't, we don't have a redstone signal. So if I go over here, I don't know if there's any way to visually tell if this is building or not. It looks like it should be ready to go. And the the mob grinder has power, so that should be ready to go. Our absorption hopper should be ready to absorb. So I am going to go ahead and the torch doesn't really matter. Ugh. I hate that I put that there. That was a bad placement on my part. I am probably going to move some of this stuff just so I have better access. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and close this for now. The lever's on. So if I put three skulls and four sand and step back, we have a wither.
Which the mob the mob grinder kills. Hmm. I don't know why that took so long. And oops. That's interesting. That is quite interesting. So we got our drop. And we got a bunch of other stuff which I didn't expect to get. So maybe that was all okay and those items were just stuff that I dropped at random. Oh, that's probably what it was. Let me clear this out. It's all sealed again. There are no stray items floating around. So let me test this again. Uh, we need four. One, two, three, four. And we need three skulls. One, two, three. We have a wither. I'm not sure, I'm not sure why that's taking so long to, uh, kill it. Okay, that looks better. We don't have any stray stuff dying. Um, these random items were stuff that I picked up or that I dropped while I was making stuff. So that's six withers. So that should be what? Six times three is 18. So we need 18 skulls. Just to prove that this doesn't work if it's off, let's go ahead and do that. See, it's not building because the redstone signal's off, but if we turn that on, we immediately get a wither, wither and we get a lot of withers, actually. <laughs> oh, Lord. We get all the withers. And it is killing them pretty much instantly. Okay, all the withers are dead. And we have some stuff. So we have six nether stars. And we have some... We have withering soul, which is useful because we can use that to make the nether star crux, which will let us actually grow nether star essence, uh, giving us another source of nether, which is not quite so loud. But this setup works. It's a little ugly, but that's fine. It's not like I'm going to spend any time over here. I am going to clean this up a little bit just so I'm not having to struggle to get past the pipes. Uh, I'll probably just open these walls out a little more and put a floor in and, you know, make it look good. But that, I think, is a good place to wrap up this episode. Uh, we have nether stars now and we can pretty much make as many as we want. I will probably look at where we're getting our wither skulls and soul sand and make sure that we have a ready supply of both of those. Um, but that's a project for next time. Thanks as always for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell to keep up with new releases when they go out. And uh, leave me a comment if you like what you saw or had any suggestions about future projects. Thanks again. Have a great day.